Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about transformers. So what is a transformer? Well, transformers are used to change alternating current voltage. They consist of a primary coil, a soft iron core, and a secondary coil. So what do we mean by that word soft for the iron core? Well, if you get hit over the head with it, it's still going to hurt. The reason that we say soft is that iron is easily magnetized and easily demagnetized. So at the primary coil, there's an AC input, and at the secondary coil, there's an AC output. Well, at the primary coil, the AC input, that induces a magnetic field inside the soft iron core. The magnetic field then moves through the iron, and then finally, an AC current is induced at the secondary coil. Now, there's some terminology you need to be aware of, the step up and step down uh, transformers. Well, step-up transformers, they increase the voltage at the output, where step-down transformers decrease the voltage. Okay, here's our first equation that we need to be aware of. It's V subscript P over V subscript S is equal to NP over NS. But what do they mean? Well, VP is the primary voltage. VS is the secondary voltage, the voltage at the secondary coil. Uh, NP, well that's the number of turns on the primary coil and NS, well that's the number of turns on the secondary coil. The national grid. Well here with the national grid we've got ourselves a power station. We've then got a step up transformer. We've got the national grid. Uh, then a step down transformer and finally our home. Now the voltage at the power station, coming out of the power station, is going to be roughly 33,000 volts around there, maybe about 25,000, something like that. At the step-up transformer, the voltage is then stepped up to roughly around 330,000 volts. And then finally, there's a step-down transformer that uh, reduces the voltage to around 230 volts. But why? What's the point? Well, let's think about the power equation. The problem is current causes heating and if we have heating in the wires in the national grid well that wastes a huge amount of energy so what we can do is we can increase the voltage and by increasing the voltage we can reduce the amount of current flowing through our wires thereby reducing the amount of heating thereby saving energy and basically saving money okay this is the second equation we need to be aware of Okay, we've got the current in the primary coil and the voltage in the primary coil. So on the left-hand side there, that's power. The power going into our transformer. And the voltage at the secondary coil and the current at the secondary coil, that's the power going out. And if our transformer is 100% efficient, the power going in is going to equal the power going out. Okay, guys, I hope this has been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.